Clark here today, and today we'll be discussing Bluetooth receivers. I have recently bought two, two new Bluetooth receivers from AliExpress to celebrate my 30 subscribers. I have got these two new ones. This Eurogen one, which is about $21, and it has two ports, a micro USB and a micro USB and AUX port, and it requires constant power through micro USB. Also, I have this $2.95 one from AliExpress. I have seen lots of these on Instagram and Facebook. It has a micro USB and AUX port. This has an inbuilt battery as well as a mic, so you can take and receive calls on it as well as volume up buttons yes volume up buttons play and pause next track and forward yeah, yeah. your usual stuff and to compare all of these together to compare to a main brand I have decided to use the Logitech one this is my favorite one I use it all the time in my theater room this is my theatre room, and it's and if you'd like to see my theatre room set up, it'll be in the iCart up here. Also, we're in my shed. This is my shed set up here, and if you'd like to see that set up, it'll also be in the iCart located up there. The reason why I decided to buy two new Bluetooth receivers was because my shed needs a Bluetooth receiver, and I'm going to use this one, and also my patio needs one when the system when I finally put up my system. So I did for a buy them on special on the 11th, the 13th of November special at AliExpress. The links will be in the description if you'd like to buy any of these products that you see today. This is not a sponsored video as well. If you'd like to see the other products I bought during the 13th of the alert sale, they'll be coming soon. So, We'll get to testing these. I will be giving the I'll be giving each Bluetooth receiver out of three sections. One for price, which of course this one here has already won. Second for quality of the sound, which it could be either could be any three of these. Who knows? Could be could be this one. Could be this one or it could be this one and then also distance because that's a key factor especially when I'm in my shed I don't always want to bring my phone down especially if I've got a uh, if I've got to do sanding and stuff like that I don't want to ruin these Bluetooth receivers even though this one only costs two dollars it's still money and I can't afford to waste two dollars buying this every month so let's get it let's get straight to it we'll be testing this one first this is the cheapest and we'll sit here the sound quality. Alright, so I've got my also I'll be testing I'll be playing them songs for an iPhone 7 since I'm recording on my Oppo A73 right now. So I've got my I've got my Bluetooth receiver and I've got it, I'm just going to turn it on, you, by, you turn it on by clicking the middle button and you plug in the aux. Now I've got to turn on the system, system is on. This is a bit of a uh, song brought to you by Ben Sounds. <coughs> Alright, guys give me a second, I need to run and grab a cable. I'll be right back. Hi guys, got back, I'm just back, I just had to actually do a Bluetooth on and off on the device. So here it goes, I'll be using the play and pause button on this setup itself. This is how it sounds. And that is on, that is on max volume.
music is also brought to you by bensound.com. I'll also link the songs in the description below if you'd like to listen to them in full. Now we'll switch to the... Where is it? Now we'll switch to the Eurogen one and see how that sounds. Just give me a second, guys, while I work out where the kettle's going. This guy pairs up straight away. As long as there's no other Bluetooth device connected to it. Pairs up straight away, and it literally always comes first. I love it. I love how it just works instantaneously. Look how much louder this is, guys. As you can see straight away, this Eurogym one became is so much louder than this battery one, than this two dollar one. But also, guys, think about it. This is two dollars. It was still pretty loud, but you're still not going to get your full sound of your sp car speakers if you buy it for your car. But that's all right. It just depends. Also, this is a big system here as well. So maybe if you're just pairing it to a car system or another audio, something smaller. It's quite. This is a 250 watt system here. So it's quite powerful and it draw. It draws a lot. But maybe if it was a, a small system. Just like a normal speaker, maybe it would work better, but on this one, it doesn't get as loud as the Eurogen. Alright, so now we'll be testing the. So now we'll be testing the uh, Autotech one, my favourite. My favorite. So I'm just plugging in the power and unplugging the power. Also, this is an. I also got this is a new, brand new uh, AU, RC to AUX cable. Brand new. I got it also in my. The subscriber package from uh, when I bought it from AliExpress and just connecting it up now. It's very connected. Oh, wow, yeah! And again, this one here comes to the wind. It is the loudest possible Bluetooth receiver I own. I should actually really be testing that instead of price because we all know who's winning in price. So, now, test two, distance. I've got my iPhone set, I've got my iPhone 7 here. And I'm also going to be using this tripod and I'm going to be walking with you guys and seeing how far the music goes on each one. So we'll be leaving the Logitech one right here, and now I'll be switching over to my other tripod. I'll see you guys in a second. Hi guys, I'm back in the shed, and now I'll be testing how the distance of this Bluetooth receiver, which one can go the longest. We are outside my shed. Yeah. As you can see, my shed is all the way back there. So, 
about 10 to 15 meters with the Logitech Bluetooth receiver. Before it starts to get interruptive. Now, we'll be testing Now we will be testing the Eurogen one. Okay, this one I think is one. Because we're at past the end of my driveway here. So I'd say about 20 meters? Oh, okay, maybe 30. 20 to 30 meters, depending on your line of sight. Like this one. I know it's got really good distance and depends on how many walls and stuff has to pass through as well. That's also what depends on you, uh, what sort of quality of sound and your distance. Whereas me, I'm out in the open and I've got about half a wall to go through. And also this is a newer version of Bluetooth. This Virgin one is using 4.2. Hi guys, now we're going to test Unbrand $2.95 Bluetooth receiver for distance. We've tested it for sound quality and loudness. Now it's time to test it for this distance. And I just dropped it. See how far we can go. Guys. Okay, I would say this one, this on brand one is not as good as the urine in distance, but there's nowhere as now. I think also the, the lodge check is the loudest but has the worst distance because it's not a brand new version of Bluetooth. Also, this lodge check here is uh, really loud and it uses a, a direct current input. An actual power supply, whereas this one here only uses a micro USB, which is an we are only using a UE power supply here, which is um, it's all in Chinese. Uh, it doesn't say it's in Chinese. I would say this is about a 5 watt power supply, so not that big, so you can't get quite loud. This one here, this one here, does second best in distance, 
really doesn't have that much loudness to it you wouldn't be taking full advantage of your system but if you just need it for a car or headphones yeah sure this is good depends but if you have a full-on theater system and actually want to actually take advantage from multiple speakers at multiple times i would take the extra money extra twenty dollars and buy this one i i love it and always will this one here if you're outside partying somewhere where distance is important i would get this one because distance is good on this one and it's reasonably loud this one's just for short distances but loudness and also the extra rc input so guys to wrap up the video i give this one a three out of five because it's the cheapest it has good distance but not loud yeah three out of five this one four out of five since it doesn't have any since it only has one US well three again then since it only uses USB and not quite loud but this one's got the best distance out of everyone this one four because it's got optional extras but it lets you down because of the distance if this had a if this one was a later version of Bluetooth, I reckon this could be 5 out of 5 here. Because it's really good. Yeah. And to see the, and the rest of the items from the 30 subscriber video celebration will be coming soon. A sneak peek is on is this tripod. This, this tripod over here it's brand new i just got it now and the tripod i'm using to hold my phone up now is also brand new as always thank you for watching guys please subscribe and like my videos thank you goodbye What? <laughs>